Welcome. I'm so glad you've come back to join us. Rachel Ruth and I have been talking about um, the different things and aspects of this coronavirus lockdown. And one of the things we've been talking about is prayer. And um, it came to my attention, I was going over the prayers of Jesus in um, the Gospels, all four of them. And every time Jesus prayed, he began his prayer with Father. So he was referring to God as his father and not saying that God is like my father, your father, but underscoring the fact that he had a personal relationship with God. And uh, one of the primary basic fundamentals of effective prayer is that we approach him in a personal relationship. And uh, I was remembering the time when I was a little girl and I can't remember the year, but I know it was on a good Friday. I was seven or eight years of age. And I had been watching a picture about Jesus on television, and it came to the scene of the cross. I was convicted of my sin and believed that Jesus had died for me. And I wanted his death to be worthwhile. If it wasn't worthwhile for anybody else, it was for me. And so I asked Jesus to forgive me and to cleanse me, to be my Savior, to come into my heart. And I believe, um, you know, that he did. I believe, based on what Jesus said in John 3, that I was born again into God's family at that time. And so I established a personal relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. Um, so that as I'm in the coronavirus and I'm locked down, he, he's with me. He's, he lives in me. And so I'm not alone. So Rachel Ruth, I just wondered if you'd share when you made that decision, mm -hmm. when you established a personal relationship mm -hmm. with God. Well, I was little. Mom was there. I was um, just a little girl in... Uh, prayed to receive Christ with her after watching an Easter program. And um, and then as I grew up, I, when I was about nine, I ended up rededicating my life to Jesus. It was actually after another movie. I'm very visual. But, um, <laughs> but Daddy Bill had done a movie called The Prodigal. And after watching that, I was just crying and, and just wanted to make sure, since I couldn't remember when I was little, asking Jesus in my heart, even though my mom was there, I wanted to make sure that I could remember it. And so we got down on our knees on the green shag rug carpet and, <laughs> and, um, and I rededicated my life to Jesus. And, and by God's grace, he put it in my heart. I, I never wanted to, to stray from the Lord. I never wanted a rebellious time or anything like that. I wanted to be like a Joshua, you know, live for the Lord from beginning to end. And, um, and so the Lord's helped me do that. But, um, but that's when I placed my faith in Jesus. And, it, and that relationship is one that is permanent. Yeah. So it never uh, we, we grow in it and we develop mm -hmm. it, but uh, we always have it. We belong to God and He belongs to us. Mm -hmm. And can you take a minute? What about you've got three girls? Mm -hmm. And can you tell me briefly how they received Christ or how they made establish that personal relationship? Yeah, I, um, it's the most important thing to me. In fact, when they were born, in the hospital, the first thing I wanted to tell them was that Jesus died for them on the cross and loved them. So I whispered in their little <laughs> ears so they would have that already going into their minds. But um, but Belle, when she was a little girl, three years old, we were up in the mountains and, um, and she said, you know, Mommy, I want to ask Jesus in my heart because we've been talking about it all the time. I just always was telling them that's, the, that's all I cared about. I just wanted one of my girls to know Jesus. And... And so, you know, I, t I said, okay, Belle, well, I want you to tell me what sin is. And she said, well, sin is like when I just pushed Sophia off the bed. I was like, yes, that's about it. <laughs> and, um, and so we talked through that, and then she prayed to receive Christ, and we were all there and celebrated. We were so excited. And, and then Sophia, the same age, when she was about three, she climbed up on my bed in the morning and wanted to ask Jesus in, my, in her heart. That was in January. And, um, and then Riggin when she was also about three years old, she, we were doing, she and I were doing devotions before dinner. I mean, before her bedtime. And, uh, and as I was sharing with her, she said, mommy, I want to ask Jesus in my heart. And I said, okay, we'll pray after me. She said, no, no, no I'm going to pray it. I'm going to pray. She's very confident. And, and she prayed the sweetest prayer to ask Jesus to come into her heart, which is the Holy Spirit coming inside. But but uh, all three of them love the Lord, and they've all had different points where they've rededicated their lives to Jesus as well. But but I know that the Holy Spirit lives inside of them and, and can see the difference. So you know, and and to me, it just occurs to me that this shutdown, when when God's put us all into our homes for a Sabbath rest, uh, could it be? 
that he wants you to share your testimony mm -hmm. with your children of the people who are in the home with you mm -hmm. and tell them how you established a personal relationship with God through faith in Jesus and then explain to them how they can do the same. So maybe one um, reason for the shutdown is that you might have those opportunities to talk about something that perhaps otherwise uh, you're too busy to talk about, you're neglected, you haven't thought about, but now think about it, pray about it, and ask God to uh, show you how to share your testimony with your children and then um, let them know how they can also establish a personal relationship mm -hmm. with God because it makes all the difference when we um, approach God as our Father, we're, we're His child, and we belong to Him. So um, think about it. So God bless you. Mm -hmm.